Welcome back everyone to another Warcry Battle Report. Today I'm using the Unmade. So for those who haven't seen Unmade before, you have the Blissful One, which is the leader. The Joyous One, which is cut off both arms and replaced it with daggers, as you do. The Awakened One with Flail. And then we have the Awakened One with Poe Arms. That's the ones with the long pointy weapons. And then everybody else are the Ascended Ones. So the Ascended Ones are the ones with the close combat stuff, like that one there, and that one there. Okay, and I'm facing against James, and he's taking his Iron Jewels. So, um, he's played Iron Jewels last time against me, and this time it's a bit more of an elite force. Who have we got today? Well, we've got the old Mega Boss. Mega Boss. Mega Boss. An old boy with Auric Forged Big Chopper. <laughs> <laughs> we've got two brutes with gore choppers. And we've got an Auric Gore Grunter with Pig Iron Chopper. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Who picks these names? 20 minutes later after some composure. Right. <clears throat> so yes, uh, Pig Iron Armour was it? It was, sorry, an Auric Gore Grunter with Pig Iron Chopper. Oh, obviously. 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 So last time you had quite the low model count. This time you have even less models. Dun, dun, dun. dun. And today's game is no quarter. So, uh, obviously we quarter the table. And every round we have more of our models in a quarter, we gain a point. So obviously four quarters, potentially four points in any round. But that's the deployment. So blues all on one side, reds all on one side. So it worked out quite well, so we both can only score really two points in the first turn. Unless for some reason you decide to run out of your quarters, for some crazy reason. Uh, the twist, we actually had Dark Omens. So we had to pick two specific cards. We had to pick a Climate card and a um, Psychological card. And both of those abilities are in effect. So the Psychological is, in the first turn, any ranged abilities or attacks are 3 inches. The second turn is 9, then 12. And the other one, the uh, Psychological one, was add one to the movement character so are all fighters. So James was pretty happy about that. Yay! Orcs that can move fast. So we will roll some dice and find out who's going first. And deploy some miniatures. So that's how my army looks. We have the dagger, the shield, and the hammer. Jeffrey, there you go, hammer. So we rolled for first turn. I'm keeping my wild dice, which... We generally do in the first turn unless stuff goes wrong. I've got two singles and two doubles. And James's hammer, shield, and dagger. And he got three doubles. And he doesn't want to use his wild dice, obviously, for the first turn. So I have got priority. Here's the deployment. So pretty straightforward. I did move right up, ready for a good cromping. Probably a bit too close. But hey -ho. So, okay, so the first model is moved over there. So remember, I did forget. Uh, not speed four anymore, speed five. Thank you, James. So I have moved twice because I needed an extra inch. <clears throat> uh, so it's back to James. What do you want to do? Hmm. Speedy orcs. Wants to murder. Okay, so. I'm gonna move my Gore Grunter. Which is now nine inches. Go, piggy, go! And I will, just to ensure it, I'm gonna spend a double for Rush. Mm -hmm. Just so he can get right on in it. Yeah. And he will attack. Get all up in his grill. So, James is going to attack the Awakened with Flail. Which I said, don't do it, because do you know how much issue I had trying to glue that thing together? But yeah, he's going to do it. Okay, uh, strength four. Uh, good old toughness three. Yeah, strength that's right. Three. It's only strength four. Yeah. 
What? Yeah. So that's only two points of damage. That's crazy. I thought you would have been at least strength five on top of that big thing. Do you think so, wouldn't you? But he's not. Okay, so two damage on the Wakened with Flail. This guy has moved twice, so a big old ten inches. What? Right up there. Mm-hmm. Gonna spend a double, a rush, coming around, right there, and attack. No way. Yes, wait, sir. <laughs> uh, he is a big old toughness three. Okay. So three attacks. That's two gone through. That's six. Whoa, lose him on two health. So... The main leader, the head honcho, has moved up there. Uh, now has speed 9, which is quite impressive. Spending a double for Onslaught. So an extra dice. Looking for those fives. Uh, wow, that was... Hmm, four damage. A whole four damage. Right, four damage on number one, we will call him. Okay. Unusual name for an orc. Is that as high as I can count? Yeah. Cool. So you're going to activate number two, presumably? Yep, number two. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to move him four inches here. Okay. And then? And then I'm going to spend a double to charge. Oh, yeah. And he'll make it to there. That was a bonus move. Nice. And he'll attack. Why not? Why not? He's there. You're there. We're all here together. Uh, toughness four. Strength five, so it's still threes. Oh damn! Oh. Ooh. 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 That's a uh, nine. Ooh, nearly halfway. Okay, so the awakened with flail is going to stand still and attack. Uh, there's a bit of a feeble like pillow fight going on there. Uh, so I'm not going to do all six attacks in one go because let's face it, it's not going to kill him, is it? Maybe. Um, Not likely. Looking for fives and sixes using the close combat version of his flail. This is slightly better. Uh, so I have got a big ode. Three damage. I have six attacks on that guy. Okay, so he's moved eight inches over to there. So we've got one model so far each in that quarter. We've got two each in that quarter. Hmm, interesting. Okie dokie, so uh, this guy is going to go next. Uh, so I've been told that he's only got a toughness of four, which is crazy. That's nuts. Yeah, but there's a lot of pig to go around. Yeah, I mean, but look at this guy. He's got a toughness of four, and he's skinny. He hasn't eaten in, like, a month. Well, he's got blood on his weapon, so he must have had some. Uh, probably his own blood. They're crazy. They smash each other in the faces. Spending a double for Onslaught, he's keeping still, so they end up with 10 attacks, probably. Um, so hitting on fours for once, actually. So I'd like to hit on fours. So that is two, four, six damage on the first round. And I'm going to stay put, and I'm going to smack again. And there's nice. a crit, so another eight points of damage in total. Nicely done. So that's that guy in the middle, done, because he was with an inch. There you go. So he's no. on 17. Oh, wow. Right, where's he going? Where's he going? Who is he fancy picking a fight with? I'm going to... Just... I'm going to move him about here, and that'll be done. Lovely, lovely. So you are on that quarter still, yeah? Yep. Yeah. So I'm not scoring that one. Beautiful. And that one's a draw currently. Excellent. Okay, so I've moved them all because James didn't have any more activations. So I've moved two over here. So I've got this quarter. I've moved one over here. So technically I've got that quarter. Uh, over here there's two models and two models. So no one's got that one. And I've got that one. So I've got... Three points this turn. Uh, I nearly uh, decided to run up and smack the big boss, and I thought, why am I doing that? Because next time... I've got the weight of numbers on my side. I cannot really kill stuff unless I really lean on heavy. 
So I've got to rely on my strengths, which is numbers, and hopefully I survive. So in turn one, I have three points. Let's turn two next. In turn two, I turned one of my singles into a double. And James has, James has got uh, one single which he turned into a double. So you got two doubles and a triple. So I definitely got the initiative. This guy's just moved a couple inches, just so he's still in that quarter. And he's going to use his double five. And because I'm now turn two, which it means I'm allowed to use my abilities up to nine inches away. Uh, and this double allows me to pick a model within that number, so it is five inches. And on a three up, on one dice, I get to shut a model down, so that model cannot move. Ooh. So, looking for a three, it's a four. So your big bad boss cannot move or disengage this turn. No! Wahaha. And that's it for that little dude. So I'll put an activation token next to him. Okay. You can still attack, so if anyone was an idiot enough to get close. Which I don't think they will be. Fair enough. Hmm. Okay, so that guy there, number one. Yeah, I believe. number one is going to attack him. Okay. So you need threes, okay, that's two six. Orcs. Two dead. I'm surprised you didn't go with Onslaught, actually. No, um... This is your leader, isn't it? Uh, it is. It's got 11 wounds left. 11 wounds, what's he originally start with? 20. Yeah. I'm going to use a double to use Duff Up the Big Thing. <laughs> which gives them an extra two attacks and two strength. Nice, which is way better than an Onslaught. Yeah. Looking for threes again. So he's done nine. Damn, so he's got two wounds left two. for now. For now. Even though that dude's going to die, I am going to use this guy here. Uh, triple as a double. And try to do some damage on him. Because hitting on fours is definitely better than hitting on fives. Yes, his crit isn't as good. But I will take those odds. So, five dice. Uh, looking for fours. Nearly lost it off the table. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, two. That's uh, six, ten, fourteen wounds from a nobody. It's not bad. Only second attack. This is when he, the balance is restored and he totally whiffs. So, fours, fives, and sixes. Yeah, there you go. And two more damage on top. But he did his job. He did quite well. That is not bad. Well done. Well done indeed. So he's going to attack back. Uh, are you doing any of your abilities? Um, so that guy's got eight wounds left. He's got ten wounds in total. I guess I will use... Hey, look, an eagle. That's when you turn around and mm -hmm. then you stab me in the back. We'd never do that. <coughs> <coughs> Going to use a double for onslaught. Okay, makes sense. So he's got eight wounds and he hasn't attacked yet. Yeah. Should we go attack him? Okay. Thought so. Uh, he's only a toughness three, that dude. So all of them hit. Okay, so that is a two, four, six, ten. Yeah, he did. And then presumably you want to smack the other guy. Yeah. But he will be hitting on fours now. On four. Yeah, be afraid. Ooh. So that is eight. Whoa, leaving him on two wounds. Brave, brave. So Robin, he is running away. So he's ran ten inches. Well, nine inches. I can't move ten inches. It's not any more table left. That's it for him. So same trick as before. So he's going to move over to here. He's going to be within six, so he's going to charge the guy in the corner, and he gets a free attack out of it. Is that a double or a triple? That's a double, sir. Ooh, that is a good double. It's a good double. Uh, he is a big old uh, toughness four. 
Toughness four. Mm-hmm. It's only Strength the guy four. with the whips and the pokey things. So it's fours. Oh, threes. Okay, so fours. So Strong. Four points of damage on him. Ooh, nice. Right. So the the leader, the head honcho himself. Uh, so the old blissful one. I said he. Yeah, I think that's a woman. Pretty sure it is. I'm not going to guess on that one. Got no arms and legs. Um, it's not a very flattering outfit, whoever it is. Uh, looking for fives. Wow, that's two damage. On the one that's already been injured. Yeah. And I'm going to attack again. The crit's really nice on this, but you've really got to fish for those crits. Um, and so that is four. That's ten points of damage. The crit is six points, which is quite nice. Nice. So at least done some damage before he gets taken. So he's got ten hit points left. Okay, and I've got a grand total of two, I believe. Okay, well, obviously, I'm going to now use this one to hit back. Okay. So I was going to put this down, but I think it's pretty much game over for that guy. Toughness four, so unless you really whiff twice. And strength five, so it's on freeze. No. Oh, yeah, just showing off now. How much yeah. damage is that? Uh, that's 12. <laughs> yeah, I had two left. Overkill. And... What do we do for your second? So if you stay still, you've got that zone. I'll just move up a little bit, just so I'm still in the zone. Okay, definitely in the zone. Yeah. So you've got one point in there, no one's getting that one, and currently no one's getting that one, so I'm going to have to do something about that. Huh? So this guy, yep. I'm going to see if I can get range and finish off that pig. Only two attacks though, and only a strength three. So fives and sixes. Uh, so he's got two health left, so a crit will kill this guy, or two fives. Uh, or nothing, absolutely nothing. It was worth it. <laughs> James's face is a peach. It always is a piece. It is. But, uh, it's that uh, rosy complexion I have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Totally cool, calm and collected. He wasn't happy in the slightest at all about that. I'm indifferent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That face, yes, you could definitely play poker for show. So that guy's gone close to the line, just in case. This guy is going to stay put, because I'm getting one point for being in that zone. I'll get one point for being in that zone. No one scores this one, because there's two and two. James gets one for two walks versus one of my unmade. So I think it is five to one. Yep. Yeah. For turn two. So it's big old turn three next. Being the jerk that I am, uh, I made it so we both had two singles. So it is a roll off. It's a hot, hot roll off for turn six. That's six. Three even. One. James rode strong. Okay, oh. so I do have priority. So I have three doubles, and James also has three doubles. Nice. Okay, once again, being a jerk, 101. This guy is going to try shutting him down. I uh, probably would want to stay there anyway, contesting that. He can probably kill me over there. Uh, but just in case, because uh, I'm a jerk, <laughs> I'm going to spend a double six. So six inches away. I can perform this shutdown. So it's a double that anybody can use. I'm going to try to butcher it. Nightmarish Visage. Yeah, that's right. On a three up, I get to shut him down. So I'm going to try it. And it went off. Ooh. So he's not going to move. He probably wouldn't want to anyway, but it just... I know, but it's, it's just a heavy hitter sitting there. So how many points is he? He's 38. 38 points. Yeah. Not oh, health. Not... Yeah, <laughs> 30 points of health. Sorry, oh, oh he's, 200, he's 285 points. He's 285 points and he can't attack. Okay. Uh, and I am just going to sit He's there. a pretty model, so I'm quite happy. He, he's a very pretty model. And Ross is a horrible, nasty person. But like I said, you probably... I mean, the worst case, you're going to do move over there and pummel me from across the line, maybe? Yeah, I could have done that. Um, or maybe kill that one over there. But there's still a damn good chance that you can murder that one. Could get points for that zone. This is it. Me taking out orcs is quite difficult to do. 
Right. Um, I shall take my turn now. Mm -hmm. Use him. Onslaught. Uh -oh. So that one's hitting on threes, that yeah. one's hitting on fours. He is previously damaged then. Okay, we'll go for the one that's previously damaged. Okay, so fours. Should kill him. How many does he need? Um, on eight, he's got uh, two left. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll attack the guy next to him. Okay, yeah, go for it. So looking for threes and that dude. Uh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, lots. That's ten. Look, ten is actually exactly enough. I was Don't walking. Check out. You want to be called a liar on the old interweb? No, no. That I... is ten. Yeah. Well, damn. You just randomly pick a number. Yeah. That's one million. <laughs> right. Um so uh, this one over here yep. will disengage, then spend a double to get the hell out of dodge. Guy in the corner is activating. And then he will charge. Mm -hmm. So he's in there, so that's a double spent. And he will do his nice big attack. I am a toughness four. And I am a strength four, so it is fours. He has got some wounds on him, and you do six damage to kill him. No. Ooh. Okay, it's not very often He's orcs do that. down a mist. Not very often orcs do that. Right. Right, 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 right. So like James said, he's probably not going to win, so you can draw that zone, you could win that one, you can win that one. But unless uh, James maxed out on this turn, it would be a draw. And draws don't happen very often in Warcry. So I can either sit there, or I can move up, and try to take one wound off of him just for funsies. Um, in there, I'm getting a point anyway. Because um, I don't think I'll be scoring any points this turn, but at least I know that James can't get to five. So I might just go in there and see if I can take two wounds off of that guy. Um, I will be wounding on fives and sixes then, with only three dice if I spend one for onslaught. And I'll need at least two fives or a six to kill him. It's unlikely. Uh, but for camera, it's just good fun. I'll move up and I'll give it a go. So I'm spending a double for Onslaught. So only three dice, meaning either two fives or one six. Is that a cock dice? That is a cock dice. So if you can balance a dice on a dice, the cock dice. So, so far, nothing. It's the six! Oh. It's the six! So that's four points of damage. So even though they're wounding on fives generally all the time, they're only uh, toughness three, the crits they actually do four damage, which is quite, quite nice. So, yes, the 60 points. They're a bit squishy. They've only got two attacks each normally. But if you get those sixes... Well, that was 205 points you took out there, so nice. Nice. Very nice. Uh, that's it for him. So, and he has now scored that zone as well, so he gets one point. And you've got those two boys left, I believe. I have indeed. So, number one, still alive, he's moved across. And charged. And spent the charge. So now he gets to attack. Mm-hmm. And if he kills him, he's got a point for that zone as well. Oh. oh. Well, that was a whole massive three points. Still not bad for a single regular hit. No. Three points of damage. It's all right. And I will activate him next. So, yeah, I was playing to my strengths and going for numbers, but... Um, yeah, I haven't got many numbers left. So he will go. Uh, he has four attacks base. Uh, he's not going to do anything else other than four attacks. So. Fives and sixes. That Ooh. was not there. It's kind of sixes. Oh, yeah. So we've got uh, six 
And that's 10 damage. He's dead. No way. Yay. Well done. Damn. So I'm contesting over here. I am not going to move that guy from the, the second action. I think... Uh, oh, no, you've got one more dude there, haven't you? I've got one more dude. So if you could kill that guy... You've got that zone. It's whether I can get to him. And actually hit him. Yeah, it's doable. You should have something like... No, in, um, it's not doable. In uh, Shadespire, where you could knock models back. That'd be yeah. really good, wouldn't it? Okay. Uh, I mean... Well, I can do this. Yeah. I mean, I would score a point for that quarter, but then you also yeah. score a point. And yeah. It, and it looks better if you score a point, I suppose. Because uh, no one's getting that. Um, so I get one for there, one from there. So it takes me on seven. I think. And I'm on, ooh, a massive two. <laughs> two, yes. Um, I mean, this guy, shutting him down was a real dick move, but... It needed to be done. Mm. He would have done a lot of damage. But then I'm also, the chaos in me wants to see what he can do, because he looks so cool and brutal. You can put one against him if you want. Um, I mean, how many attacks does he have? He has, I've got to flip the page here. That's the, the minus of not having cards. He gets three attacks. Three attacks? Yeah. Okay, that's not that many, but I'm assuming it's really high strength. For um, his strength six. Strength six, so if you hit most things on threes, and damage is probably four and six, isn't it? Four and eight. Four and eight. Jeez. So if he hits you on a regular, it's going to hurt. So, any way to get extra attacks out there, those guys? Other than Onslaught? There's only really on Onslaught, I mean... They're not yeah. fast in the way that they move or attacks. But... I can't use stuff up the big thing, because he doesn't have the symbol. Mm -hmm. That's about it, really. But I like the skull on the I shoulder mean, Rampage. as well. He is so cool. He is so cool. Now, with Warhammer um, Plus coming out, I'm actually half tempted to sign up for that. And surprisingly, I'm not going to go for the Assassin. I'm tempted with the Orc War Boss. The Assassin looks nice, but you'd be carrying a piece of terrain with you. This hey? is it. It doesn't make sense to me. I wouldn't mind taking the Assassin off and having him by himself. But I think the War Boss would look amazing as a 40k conversion. I'd so love to see you paint a War Boss. Going to start my Orc soon. Going to start my Orc soon. But yeah, very good game. Uh, once again, it was all about numbers of models, because uh, I know full well that anything hit by an orc is generally dead. The only attack you missed all game was one attack from there. For my poor little hard boy. But yeah, he did his job. He did his job. And I actually, for once, if Phil, if you're watching this, I actually thought about the mission and didn't just try to kill stuff. Because when you're hitting orcs and you're looking for fives and they've got a billion wounds... It's never really worth it. But I hope you enjoyed yourself, James. I did. I did. I mean, I lost this game, so I'm probably going to go home and have a little cry. Uh, <laughs> sit in a, a, you know, overlooking the sea, maybe, contemplating where I've gone wrong in life. <laughs> I know James is joking. I've known him for a long time. Plus, I also know there is no sea where you live. Maybe run a bath or something and just look at the bath. <laughs> yeah, just, just overlook the bath. <laughs> But um, James is one of our club members. Uh, he's been a friend for a long, long time. Friend's a bit of a stretch. What? Especially after this game. <laughs> I was going to say, especially after... Hey, we've been on the same D&D &D party together. Yeah, I know. Come on, oh, man. We, we've bled together. I mean, I, I'm, I'm proud for you winning this, um, this match. I mean, it it's, mostly it's overshadowed by... Unrequenting rage, but um, yeah, yeah well, well done. Most of my stuff, uh, winning games, is uh, caused by running away, to be fair. So, yeah, that's a valid tactic. Um, but no, yeah, like I say, James comes to our club, and uh, Warcry is pretty rife at the moment. We all play Warcry quite a bit. And um, I know one evening you had five games, and did you lose all five, didn't you? Uh, yeah. yeah, I did. But I'm not saying this to wind James up at all. You know, run him down. But he said to me afterwards, you know, lost five games and still had a hell of a laugh. And that's just war cry, isn't it? Yeah. It, no game is the same. You know, you can say it's random. It is. 
and each one's a learning curve. So it is so much fun. It's not to be taken seriously. I mean, you know your orcs on very fast, and you know that. You know ways around it. Unfortunately, I just didn't have the abilities to get to it. Like um, that. There's a big thing in Warcry. Like speed or flight is a massive, massive buff. It's not all about strength. Um, especially those uh, chain rasps and things like that. Yeah, they're they're quite weak. But certain missions involve strength. Certain missions involve speed. You know, it's always, always random. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as we have. So thank you for watching. Hope you liked the video. And please subscribe if you haven't done already.